Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lucif back at again with another video and in this video I made an insane Vaznif 9k like this class up's pretty wild If you guys want to snatch your opponent's ankles and leave them lost then this class up you want to go with this class up is most definitely one of the best I've made for the Vaznif. I end up dropping an MGB with it So before I get into the video if you guys haven't already drop a like and uh, I don't know what to set the like goal as just if you're seeing this just drop a like But yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna show the Vaznif class at first and then show the MGB gameplay afterwards Don't miss the MGB gameplay because I was going crazy and spawn trapping with the Vaznif on shipment I dropped 95 kills but now let's get into the Vaznif attachments. For the first attachment, I was running the 45 round mag. This attachment cannot be tuned, so let's get into the next one. For the second attachment, I was running the true tack grip. These are the tunings I was running. I went towards ADS and sprint to fire. ADS to aim down faster, sprint to fire to aim down faster from a sprint. You always want a fast weapon. Whatever weapon aims down faster is going to win. Most definitely with a submachine gun because they're built for close range and for speed. So that's why you want to build towards it. For the third attachment, I was running the FSSV laser. These are the tuning cells running. I went towards ADS and sprint fire again. Same reason. You want to aim down faster than your opponents. For the fourth attachment, I was running the CAS 381 millimeter. These are the tuning cells running. I went towards aim walking speed and damage range. Damage range so my gun hits harder range. And aim walking speed so I can stray faster because you never want to stand still while fighting so on. If you're constantly moving, you're a harder target to kill because your opponents have to track you well all you have to do is just aim at them because they're not moving so you can easily line your shot up to the head and kill them faster or even high chest while they're trying to lock their sight on you so that's why you always want to be moving and never stand still it's easier to kill a standstill target than a moving target and for the fifth and final attachment i was on the f tac castle comp these are the tunings i was running i went towards gun kick control and recoil stabilization recoil stabilization so my gun is more stable and it's a laser and i can control its recoil pattern and gun kick control so my gun does and bounce as much and give me visual recoil problems but yeah this class up's insane as you guys can see everything is being buffed in the stats the mobility slightly went down because the 45 round mag but honestly you're no slower than you were before because the 45 round mag didn't really nerf it as much and you're built all the way into speed and your class up's built into speed so that counteracts it as well but yeah anyways no more guys thoughts down in the comments about this class up and what do you guys want to see next? Do you guys want to see me post up a class up on a specific weapon? If so, leave that down in the comments. You guys want to see an updated settings video? Or you guys want to see me go back and play older CODs? Or just a different game entirely? Like, let me know down in the comments. Because I haven't really had much to post up on Modern Warfare. And I'm kind of out of ideas. So, like, help a brother out. But now that's over, let's get into this insane MGB gameplay using this Vaznif class setup. Alrighty, guys. We're back on Modern Warfare. I'm not even going to cap. I didn't really have anything to post up on, bro. I straight ran out of ideas. I love how slow everything is. But back to what I was saying, I had nothing to post up on. And I was literally sitting at the main screen on Modern Warfare 2, where the creative class is, for like two hours, bro. I had literally nothing to post up on. So I was like, hmm, I went through my videos and I seen that last Vaznif class setup I posted was like three months ago or something like that. So I was like, hmm, I guess I'll post up on the Vaznif. But like, if you guys have like any ideas on what I should post up, then let me know, bro. Whether that's a settings, updated settings video, or a class setup for a specific weapon, or playing older CODs for a little bit, or playing different games entirely. Because I know Dead Island 2 just dropped not too long ago. I was debating on doing that. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, then let me know down in the comments. Like, no one really says what they're interested in, so I'm like, shoot. When I have nothing to post up on, that right there would be good videos. Post up on something that everyone's interested in seeing. Just gotta do something, bro. I got literally no ideas. I've posted up on everything in MW. Besides the new weapons, because it's taking forever to level up my battle pass. Once I unlock them, then I'll do a class setup on them but i haven't been playing modern warfare too much at all bro. i think i only played it like a few times since season three dropped my battle pass is still extremely low oh my advance oh yeah i also forgot to mention that i cut my finger earlier today which kind of makes it harder to play because it was my middle finger that was cut and i used that for my paddles i'm on a brutal Oh my god. 
How many times am I gonna get stunned? Oh, that kid's camping in there. Definitely not gonna try to challenge him. I'll just try to pick off their opponents when they're running over here or something. There's the MGB, let's go. Ooh, I know it's like one or two kills off, so that's why I went in that corner. Hmm. A lot of things have not been working out today, bruh. Like, the amount of nukes I failed due to just being camp killed is just so annoying. We're mostly by getting straight up shotgun down by kids just running riot shields on the back and shotguns are revolvers with sh riot shields on the back. It's just been absolutely annoying. It's like that's what also makes things even more irritating when you want to play a game because they give you like no way to truly counter them. Your movement is slow so you're stuck just being killed by players that play so passively and so irritatingly because you can't outmaneuver them. And even if you had better movement, you can outmaneuver them anyways because the target assist in this game is extremely strong. Like, I know you've seen some players that are just... Accuracy is chalk, but somehow they still line their shot up on you and just laser the hell out of you. Let me see how many kills I can get, actually. I don't think I'm gonna go for high KD like last time. I think I'm just go for most kills. Thank you, teammate. Just get up, start walking slow-mo in front of the doorway. I got killed by a grenade that somehow got behind us. But yeah, I literally cut my finger right in the middle. I'm about to show you guys real quick. Like, look at that, bro. Right in the middle. Exactly where I used the paddle at when I hit it on my controller. I hit that spot every single time. I need to make sure I don't end up calling out the MGB. I'm gonna wait until right when the game is about to be over and then call it out. If I don't accidentally try to call out a streak earlier before it's time limit, then it's just gonna get stuck and automatically call out the MGB. In the corner, huh? I really can't wait for Treyarch to make a game, bro. If they stick to the normal routes, I'm gonna have no beef with them. Spawned in like four times in a row and just died. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just call out the move. I I'm tired of literally spawning and dying. I literally just spawned and died like six times. Do the spawn system just absolutely trash. Like, no cap, I probably died like four or five times because of the spawns in a row. I literally spawned, died, spawned, died, spawned, died, and couldn't even move. Grenade spams. I wish the nuke actually still gave you the kills, bruh. It doesn't give you the kills anymore, which is kind of dumb. Say if you're playing like ground one, there's like 24 people, bruh. It would literally give you the 24 kills on top of that type of thing. It gave you the kill for every person you killed with the nuke. That's how it should be, bruh. So if I called out the nuke, it should give me six more kills because I killed six more people with the nuke. We got only like 30 seconds left. I'm probably about to call out the MGB. There's the MGB. I held off on it for a while, try to get some more kills. I've died many times after I got it due to getting straight up camp killed. The heal. Jesus, brother. I got 95 kills. See, if the nuke counted, it would have gave me 101. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.